Hello everybody, this is Sonia. I'm going to check this camera. One of these days I'll have it in the potty where I can... Now, okay. I'm here now today because I wanted to show you some things that I have been buying. I know I'm wicked, but they're things I've bought with money that I've made from selling stuff that I had in my room that I had way too much of I've sold. Beads, wool, lace and bits and pieces, okay? Let's grab all this stuff. And I'm into the water. It's really hot outside. And I just knocked it all floor. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh dear, now all I need is for this to just stop working. So, But anyway, I bought myself a crop doll. Look, I'm excited. I've made some money. So I bought a crop doll. Now, uh, how does it work? Well, this is for those people who haven't really quite got the idea. Now I want to put a small eyelet in, so this is one this is this is one eighth of an inch that this is going to be done at. So I'm going to put it in here. There we go. That's the little hole, right? Now on the side of the thing, because if you look at your um this is just a quick demonstration because I wanted to if you look at these little black squares you'll find that they've got little letters on them. Now in correspondence with <laughs> in line with what this is, this says on here, okay, in the English one. So for this size, you need to have, which is an 18 inch, <laughs> of an inch. You need a C and a three, right? But I just did discover that the C and the three are facing one another, not on the ends, okay? So all you do then is you put your little eyelet into your card or paper uh, hot and tight I am and you know <laughs> this is just a thing that I'm going to try and do for the end of the day and you just line him up there put him through the hole and press like that and you have inserted your eyelet little eyelet thing into whatever it is you want to put it on like paper or whatever and there you have little holes, okay? Back in the olden days, they used to do it like this. I found a bottle. There's some in that my mum must have had. And this says Rawleys. Rawleys, whatever Rawleys was. And it's got a uh, little... It's old and it's got some old bullets in there. These are a good size, aren't they? These are father top ones. But these must be the ones that are considered the, the bigger ones up there. I don't know. Anyway... They're a big one and I'll try and work them on that later, but I've got a lot of the smaller ones so I can use them. So I was really pleased with that. That was one of my purchases that I really, really liked. Then, I'm going to put that down there because it's going to fall on the floor and everything else. I went and I bought myself this. This is a labeler. And it isn't purple, Irene. I thought mine was purple too, but it's not. This is blue. And I bought this because it was only $30 at Woolworths. Isn't that awesome look at that it makes labels and there's one i made <laughs> made by sonia stepto and in it oh well with it you get a packet of tapes now i bought as well the clear plastic ones they cost ten dollars that was pretty good you got um four meters now, i'm sure i'm not going to be doing that much and i'm going to be writing out that all day and this one is actually a white iron on one so this, I don't know exactly what it is, whether it's fabric or what. Can't see. Don't want to really open it until I want to use it, but this is really cool, people. Really cool. I'm sure I think a few ladies have got one of these, and I love it. It's easy to use, really easy to use. So that was another thing that I got for myself, so that was really good. And I was really pleased with that. Um, I got a couple of things in the mail. I uh, haven't even had a go at this yet, I've been too busy. I'm sorry about my hand, I've got, um, I burnt that and I've burnt it there. I have been really wrecking my hands trying to do this work. You don't realise, you know, your poor old hands, they don't like it. I've always made your labour. It's not good. <laughs> I haven't even looked in this. I have not even looked in it. I imagine it works really nice. Look at that, it's a flower. See? I think it cost me... Well, no, it cost me um, $10, and then I had postage, so that was pretty good, eh? Dollar postage. 
they usually work all right. I've been buying a few of these spellbinders dies lately, but it's that little that little flower there, and I thought that would look really good, you know, amongst the um, other flowers for a nice, nice bit of um, interest. Uh, I got so also on eBay the rod, which I did not, I don't remember buying all these purple and red things. Maybe it should look a bit better. I oh, did want the small, I did want the little tiny ones that I was getting in all different colours, so they gave me these. Maybe they thought I wanted them for Valentine's Day or something. I don't know, but I imagine I'll use them at Christmas or whatever, or in amongst something from in the parcel. I don't know. It only cost me a dollar. We can't be too fussy about that now, can we? It's something for a dollar. And I got this as well. This I bought off a um, thing, like it's a flower mould. And it's cost me six dollars. I got this off one of the Australian shopping shop site things. Look at that. Isn't that going to look good when that comes out? So doily. I thought it was bigger around than that. That's probably only two inches or maybe it's only an inch and a half. I told Irene. But you know what? I think that's going to look really awesome. So I'm saving these and I'm saving to the day when I'm going to go and have a turn at doing that. Now, what else was there? There was something else, yes. One more thing. Some little corners. So I bought these little corners because I wanted some corners. I didn't realise they were this small. I'm always buying the small things. Sometimes I get accidentally get the large thing, but not very often I <laughs> usually get. But look, there's a fair few in here, and, I, and I'm not paying more than a dollar something for those. You know, not even two dollars. And I got a whole heap. They could go on cards or on the ends of thicker, you know, book covers or something. You know, they're really nice, aren't they? They seem to be really good quality too. They're not, you know, flimsy like or anything like that. Now, just one more little thing. Our daughter works at Coles Supermarket here, and she came home the other day. Was so excited, you know, because. Where she works, they seem. She said they put the specials right up in front of us. She said they always put the specials right up in front of me, Mum. I said, "Oh, that's good, Ellie." So she got me these, these sharpie things. You know, sharpies. Are they sharpies? Sharpies. Soft markers, like sharpie market things. They are. And I know that I won't use them for colouring, but. I will probably use them in different other things, maybe the lighter, and these coloured ones, these were $15 marked down to three, and these were 50 cents a packet, so these were in a packet, I took them out, and plus you got a whole heap of other, all big brand, good brand pen, I didn't realise how these go yet, I might have a little bit of a try, one of these, I haven't even taken it out, I know that you can, look at that, now that's not bad, is it? That colour's in pretty if you want to just make something particular that you want that colour. Yeah. So, that was a good buy. I was really pleased with that because I think they were a lot dearer than that. But anyway, so she was excited and <laughs> she said, Oh, Mum, they put them there in front of me. She said, I watched them. She's got down to the last packet. She said, She finished work. So she went and grabbed it for me. So that was good. And she was looking for some storage for me today when she went out of town. And, friend with hers but they couldn't find me anything so that doesn't matter but anyway so I've had a good time with my shopping but still I'm very uh, having a very <laughs> hard time with me sorting I'm going through everything you know like with the fine tooth comb but sometimes I'll go through it and think oh yeah and it won't for much well, next time I'll go through it and I'll just save a tiny bit so I have been doing really well I have got so much stuff here to alter I think I'm going to have to just you know, really, really get rid of a lot of that, so, but anyway, thank you everybody if you watch me, and um, I miss coming on here doing tutorials, and I really need to get back to my, 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 my work, I do need to do my craft, and I have um, a box here to open now with parcel, so I'll just be back in a minute, okay, bye-bye.